The benefit of the doubt. If someone says that they're giving the benefit of the doubt to a person or a situation, it means that for now they will trust that it's truthful, honest, above board, until proven otherwise. This is a common idiom in most English dialects, certainly in Canadian, American, and British English, and would be heard fairly often depending on the company you keep. Even though you love sweet things, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, you might say to your husband who denies eating the last two donuts. Maybe everyone is accusing a friend of ruining a surprise birthday party. Come on, guys, let's give her the benefit of the doubt. We don't know that she let the secret out. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt this time, but make sure you pay more attention while driving. A police officer might let you go after catching you run a stop sign. As you can tell, giving someone the benefit of the doubt means giving them a chance to prove they're telling the truth, being honest, being sincere, even though you may have lingering suspicions. Giving the benefit of the doubt is also used in situations where you don't think something will happen or you doubt the ability of a person to accomplish a goal. All the athletes are super talented, but so is she, so she might just win a medal. I'll give her the benefit of the doubt you might say regarding an Olympic athlete. The idiom supposedly first appears in court proceedings around the mid-1700s, where a defendant will be acquitted unless guilt has been proven beyond a reasonable doubt. In other words, innocent until proven guilty. Thus, the benefit of the doubt is the benefit, advantage, assistance of the fact that, in law, if there is any slight doubt about guilt, the person should be considered innocent. In life, it is common to believe that someone is guilty of something even when there is no proof or there is a lack of evidence. We should try to give the benefit of the doubt, however, because guilty until proven innocent is not fair and is definitely not scientific. People always seem to want to blame someone or hold someone accountable when bad things happen, rushing to draw conclusions, assign guilt, and punish perpetrators. They will even form mobs to seek vigilante justice, whether in real life or online, though there may be a lack of evidence or they're merely drawing on hunches. It is certainly advisable to remove yourself from a mob, to take a step back, to give the benefit of the doubt. We should strive to be kind, to understand, to be seekers of truth, shouldn't we? A mob has formed, protesting for the removal of the president, suspected of corruption. He has asked the people to give him the benefit of the doubt, to give him time to demonstrate his innocence, a reporter says on live television. Perhaps you're out hiking with friends. The weather report said it'll be sunny today, 
but it's quite cloudy right now. I guess we'll just have to give the sky the benefit of the doubt. I'm always giving you the benefit of the doubt, but so far you haven't shown me that you won't give up. You might say to your partner after he tells you yet another money-making idea of his. So, the next time you want to trust, believe, have faith in a person or situation despite lingering uncertainty, or maybe you don't really think something can be accomplished, achieved, pulled off, give them or it the benefit of the doubt.